tech stacks are groups of technologies that work well together to build complete applications. Examples include the LAMP stack consisting of Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, or the MERN stack consisting of MongoDB, Express, React, and Node.js, to name a few. But there's a big problem with existing tech stacks. They don't use Rust, which obviously makes them inferior. I mean, if you aren't using Rust at this point, are you even a real programmer? It's time for a new stack, a stack which incorporates the world's most loved programming language, a stack which allows you to build apps that are blazingly fast, memory safe, and unnecessarily comp, I mean, extremely robust. Introducing the Rusty Stack, a fully oxidized tech stack allowing you to build backend, web, mobile, and desktop components using Rust. The Rusty Stack consists of four technologies. First up, we have Rocket. Rocket is a simple, fast, and type-safe web framework for Rust. It allows us to define our backend endpoints in a concise way by taking advantage of Rust's macro system. Up next, SurrealDB. SurrealDB is a new forward-looking database that combines features from relational, graph, and document paradigms. It has a query language called SurrealQL, which is very similar to SQL, allowing us to get up and running quickly. Next up, Towery. Towery is a framework for building desktop applications using web technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the front end and Rust for the back end. It's similar to Electron, but produces binaries that are smaller, faster, and more secure. Lastly, we have U. U is a component-based UI framework like React, except it allows you to write your web apps in Rust, which is then compiled down to WebAssembly. Let's explore building a simple to-do list app using the Rusty stack. Before we get started, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. We'll start with the backend. First, we'll create a new binary called to-do API and add all the necessary dependencies, which include Rocket and SurrealDB. Next, we'll define some helper functionality, including an error enum, a prelude containing a generic wrapper type, a useful map macro, and try from implementations for surreal DB types. Then we'll implement the data store logic. First, we'll define the models. Then we'll implement the CRUD operations using the Surreal query language. Next, we'll set up the web server in main. First, we'll import the needed dependencies, then create our endpoints. and finally update the main function to start a Rocket server instance. We also need to do some extra work to configure cores. Finally, we'll create a Rocket configuration file to specify the port our server should use. Now we can run our server and verify that it's working using Postman. Great, our server is working. Next, let's implement the front-end clients. First, we'll create the web client. Like before, we'll add all the required dependencies and create an index.html file, which serves as the entry point for our web app. We'll also create a style.css file and add some predefined styling. Next, we'll define the models. Then we'll define our app state using a Redux-like pattern. Next, we'll add functions that call each one of our API endpoints. Next, we'll create the controller, which will contain our business logic and act as the glue between UI components and application state. Finally, we'll define the UI components, starting with the new task form.
then the task item. And then the task list. Finally, we'll finish by creating the root app component in main.rs. Then we'll pass the root app component to the start app function and run the app. To test it out, we'll add to do items, toggle some, and delete others. Great, our web app works and looks great. Next, we'll implement the desktop client. We'll use Create Tower App to start a new project. Then we'll update styles.css and index.html. Finally, we'll add our business logic to main.rs. With that, let's run the app. Our desktop app is working and changes on one client are reflected on the other client. At the moment, Towery only allows us to create desktop apps, but in the future, we will also be able to create mobile apps. There you have it, an entire app with multiple clients built using the Rusty stack. Now, is it practical for you to build all your applications using the Rusty stack? Probably not, but we're not here to do what's practical. We're here to do what's Rusty. Before you go, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. Give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Rust content. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.